Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Parasalai. In this video, I am going to provide you a complete information about a summer internship opportunity that is available in the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Hyderabad. The name of the summer internship is Visiting Student Research Program for the Academic Year 2024. In short form, it is called as VSRP. Name of the post is Student Intern. Once you got selected from this particular program, you will be working as a student intern in TAFR Hyderabad by getting a decent amount of salary. Application. So you need to apply for this program only in online mode. In simpler way, they will be they had given a Google form. So you need to fill out the Google form. The last part of the video, I had mentioned you how to apply for this VSRP program. There is no need of sending any kind of document to the concerned authority. Through the Google form itself, you can apply for this particular program. There is no fees for applying for this particular VSRP program. Selection mode based on the write-up you will be selected. So the time of application itself, the Google form itself, they will be asking you to upload a write-up form. So I will be mentioning you what are the things that you need to give in this particular write-up. So only based on the write-up you will be selected. Of course, based on your merit also you will be selected. But don't think if you are a below average student, I will be asking you to apply for this particular program. The main aim of this particular program is to engage student and to create interest in those students who are really wanted to do their career in research okay so if you have an idea of doing any phd or any kind of research work means i will be asking you to apply for this particular program because ultimately there is no fee by applying to this kind of program it will create a few awareness among students and there are many chances of getting uh, you to get selected in this particular program so i am asking my student or those who are watching this video please apply the application process is easy. You are going to apply. If you got selected, you are going to work in TAFR Hyderabad. Definitely, it will be creating many changes in your career based on my personal experience I am telling you. I got an opportunity to work in CDRA Lucknow. So, that's why I am asking you to apply for these kind of summer internship program. Next is exam. Ultimately, based on a write-up only, you are going to select it. There is no need to write any examination. No need to worry about syllabus and negative markings and all. Next, vacancy, they didn't disclose the vacancy detail. It depends upon the number of openings or how many students that a guide can try. Okay, so the vacancy detail, they didn't disclose. Last date is 16th of February is the last date and period of work. So once you got once you got selected in this particular program means May, June, July, you will be working as a student intern in TAFR. So don't worry if your semester examination will be, I think it will be completed in April itself. If it is coming May means you can either contact the guide under whom you are going to work as a summer intern because they also know that student will be having semester examination. So they can do some kind of adjustment in this particular May, June, July. Okay. So based on that you can uh, apply for this particular program okay get help from your college also try to know what might be the probable date of applying because only final year students are eligible to apply for this particular program so this is about the eligibility so student in any stream if you are currently doing a physics chemistry biology biology in the sense life sciences botany zoology microbiology biotech what in what stream you are studying you can apply so student in any stream Biology, Max, Physics, Chemistry, you can apply for this particular BSRP program. So, those students who are in the final year of the three-year BSc program or those students you who are in the final year of MSc program or integrated MSc program or if you are in the final year of B.Tech, four-degree, four-year B.Tech degree program or four-year B.A. program are eligible to apply. Say, if you are in a second year, you are not eligible to apply. This is I am telling in the sense of BSc. If you are currently a BSc graduate and if you are in second year, means you are not eligible to apply. Say, if you are MSc and if you are in a first year, means you are not eligible to apply. If you are in a third semester of your MSc, you can apply. If you are in a fourth semester of your MSc, you can apply. Say, if you are in a fifth semester of your BSc, you are eligible to apply. If you are sixth semester of your BSc, you are also eligible to apply. Okay, same. If regarding to BTEC and BD, B means if you are in fourth year of your BTEC or BD program, you are eligible to apply for this particular summer internship program. If you had completed your MSc last year, say for example, I had completed my MSc in 2023 means I am not eligible to apply for this particular uh, VSRP program. So some are asking, I had completed my BSc and I didn't got admitted in MSc. I am eligible to apply or not like that you are asking. You are not eligible to apply. Only those students who are currently in their final year of BSc or final year of MSc or final year of BSc, B, B, Tech alone are eligible to apply. PhD student are not eligible to apply. So kindly 
actually don't apply for this particular uh, visiting student research program this is only for final year student alone will be getting eligible for this kind of program and students who have participated in previous years are not eligible to apply if you are last year if you are applying means you are not eligible to apply for the current year stipend so once you got selected means you will be getting a monthly stipend of 70000 sorry 7000 it's not 70000 sorry sorry it's 7000 at the same time if you are an outstation candidate me they will be paying you the train train ticket bus ticket everything they will be returning to as per their rules and accommodation also you no need to worry about accommodation and all in their institute itself they will be providing you free accommodation okay so you no need to spend anything they are giving 7000 by getting stipend you can work you can apply for your career you can improve your research skill okay so how to apply so please watch with the video carefully okay only then it will be getting very better so first you need to enter into this particular website i'll be giving the link below in the description box so here here you can be able to find application process click here to apply so you need to simply click that particular link so the google form will be opening make sure in which google account gmail account your uh, uh, thing has been signed in so if you want to switch account means you can change the account First, because uh, uh, the name and the photo associated in that Google account will be recorded. Okay, so that's why I'm asking just try to apply from the uh, thing that you are uh, currently active. Okay. So, the first thing you need to enter your email ID. Next is your name and then your date of birth and which degree currently you are pursuing. If you are in your BSc, BTech or BE means click undergraduate. If you are in your MSc means click postgraduate. Okay. Then your nationality, then your mobile phone number and your address and they will be asking you to uh, submit your Aadhaar card. So you need to scan your Aadhaar card, original Aadhaar card and you need to attach as a PDF file. Next thing they will be asking you to enter your class 10 detail like your name of school, which board, state board or matriculation or CBSC. Next what grade or what is your percentage of mark that you had secured. Okay and which year you have passed your 10th like that those information. Same for 12th also you need to, they had asked you to enter the information. Next is regarding to undergraduate program in which institute, your name of the college you need to enter. If it is an autonomous institute mean in which university it is coming. So if it is coming in Madurai Kamraj University means you need to type accordingly to that. Next, which degree, whether it is a BSc or BTech or B, what is your degree like that you need to enter and what is in which branch. If it is chem BSc Chemistry means you can click on BSc Chemistry. If it is BSc Biotech means you can click on BSc Biotech. And next year of passing. If you are currently in your third year of your BSc means you need to enter in which year you will be passing. Okay. So if you are going to write your final year examination of BSc in April 2024 means you can simply put 2024 is the year of passing like that you can put. Okay, same for BTEC also you can uh, get help from college if you don't know or it's just ask me. I can help you in that particular thing. My motive is that you need to apply for this program because many of you will not even apply. Okay, so just apply for this program getting or getting selected is second thing. Okay, next thing what is your percentage of mark? Okay, so if you are currently in your BSc means uh, uh, up to 5th semester or up to 4th semester you need to calculate a percentage of mark and you need to give over there. Next is consolidated mark statement. Okay, so if you are still as I mentioned earlier submit your mark statement till if you are having till semester 4 means just submit the consolidated uh, mark statement. It should be consolidated. It should consist of all the 4 semester mark statement. Okay, just get help from your college. You need to submit as a PDF next year degree certificate. So if you are currently in your final year of your MSc means you need to submit the BSc degree certificate. Okay, next is regarding to postgraduate. Okay, if you are an undergraduate means simply type not applicable in the upcoming division. Don't, don't give those things as an empty. You hear it says they have given. If you are undergraduate means you can simply put not applicable. In case if you are currently in your MSc means you need to fill out same institute, university in which degree. MSc or MTech or MU whatever it might be. Or else if you are a BSc, currently if you are in your BSc or BTech means you can simply click on not applicable button. Next is your uh, discipline. 
Okay, so if you are undergraduate means kindly type out or not applicable. If you are MSc means type the discipline that you are studying. Next, expected year of passing. So here itself they have given two points. If you are already passed means you are not applicable to apply for this particular program. If you are undergraduate means you can simply type not applicable. If you are a MSc means just type the year of passing. If you will be completing your MSc in 2024 means it can simply type 2024. Okay, next, uh, same. Up to last semester, you need to type the percentage of mark that you got till last semester. They didn't mention the percentage eligibility, like this much percentage you need to got and they didn't mention you. Just submit, okay, even though if you have arrear and if you have cleared your arrear means, you can type the percentage of mark because they, there is no restriction that they had given over here. Next is consolidated mark statement. Same as what I mentioned for BSc, you need to submit the Consolidated mark statement. If you are pursuing the postgraduate degree, you must upload this file, else your application will not be considered. So, okay, if you are currently in your final year of postgraduate degree, means for the past two semesters, they had given you a consolidated mark statement. Consolidated mark statement itself, in the single mark statement itself, they will be giving you the mark scored by you in semester one and semester two. So, you need to submit. Next is an important thing project references. So if you click on means you will be getting a huge uh, number of projects that are currently available along with the supervisor detail, supervisor detail based on your subject area you can select okay first preference first in which project you want to work uh, okay at the same time they are asked you to enter the second preference two preferences they will be most commonly you will be getting first preferences only next is this particular thing so this writer based on this write-up only you will be getting selected in this particular VS, uh, VSRP program. So first it should consist of 100 words only. It should be typed and you need to attach them as a PDF copy. Okay, so just better type the details correctly. So while typing, while writing this write-up, uh, get help from your professors or the guide under whom you are currently working, you can get help from them. So uh, first thing they will be asking, what is your motivation for selecting the project? So the project which you had selected, say for example, if I am going to select understanding the role of organelles in collective cell migration means, what is why I had selected that particular thing. If I am interested in cell biology means, you can give according to that. So if you want any help in writer means, please do tell me, I will be definitely helping you. Next, you have specific ideas related to project you, that you would like to explore. So for which you can go for referring few recent article or few recent research that is going on in this particular cell migration related study. And next thing, uh, how does your previous training make you suitable to work on this project? If you have previously worked on cell biology means you can uh, think if you have done your BSc in cell biology means you can take those points from your BSc research work and what are the learning outcome? Okay, so all the questions should consist of 100 uh, words only. Next, I are asked about the previous research experience. If you have done any, if you have attended any seminar or if you have completed any project that when you are in your BSc means, you can submit those details. Next, they are asked you to provide academic references. It might be a guide, so one referee and you need to provide, the first you need to provide the referee name. What is her designation? Assistant professor means assistant professor, HOD means HOD. Second reference, second referee uh, might be your HOD or some other persons, okay. Because from TAFR, they will be contacting them. Okay, so that's why provide two referee, referees. Next, they will be asking how do you know about this particular training program and all. You need to give all those details. Next, uh, you need to click on submit button. Okay, so that's it. This is how you need to apply. In case if you want any help, please do tell me. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.